I am Professor Milligan. Welcome to Ask the Professor, where I answer questions on investing in a plain and simple way. Professor Milligan, what is a short sale? So for all those who don't understand what a short sale is, let me explain what a short sale is. Um, in this market environment, short selling is probably one of the most important things that you can do if you're a trader. Short selling is the belief, or what you're doing basically is, and I'm not gonna go into the mechanics, so I'm not going to go into mechanics, but short selling basically is playing the price of a security or an index or market to go down. So short selling makes basically means you're making money as a security drops. The old adage is buy low and sell high. Well, for short sellers, the adage is sell high and buy it back low. So what a short seller basically does, I'm not going to get into mechanics. They look at securities that they believe are overvalued securities or markets, overvalued, I'm going to go lower, um, for whatever reason. And what they do is they position themselves to make money to the downside. So what they're going to do is they're literally going to go out and short the stock at what they believe is a higher price, not sell it, short it. What they believe is a higher price, and their plan is at some point in the future, could be literally minutes, days, weeks, years, but some point in the future, buy it back at a cheaper price. So let me give you some numbers. Let's say that you think a stock is trading at 100 bucks, it's gonna go down. You decide to short that particular security. You short it at 100 bucks. The stock over the next couple of weeks, days, whatever the case may be, drops to 80 bucks. You cover your short position by buying the stock back at 80 bucks a share. So again, you short it at 100, you covered at 80. The 20 points belongs to you. So again, that's short selling. The 20 points belongs to you. Now, for those, who've never sh those who have never done short selling before, short selling is risky. The reason why it's risky is you sh uh, sell stocks short in a margin account, borrowing money to play a stock short. Your risk on shorting a stock is that the stock goes higher. A couple of months ago, everyone heard about the short squeeze in AMC theaters, the short squeeze and GameStop. And the short squeeze came that when the stock started to run, the sh people at, the investors that were short the stock started losing money. When you start to lose money at some point, the brokerage firm, when you start to lose money on the short sale, is going to come in and basically give you two options. They're going to say, Mr. Milligan, your trade's going against you. You're down a certain percentage. Um, we re we're going to require you to put in either more money or close out part of the position or all the position. Brokerage firm is saying that I'm getting a margin call. When I get a margin call, it means I either have to put in more money, close out the position or close out part of the position to bring the equity back into the account so that the brokerage firm is not at risk. You take the risk. What happened in the GameStop and AMC situation was when that stock started to run and these shorts started to lose money, they came in to cover their shorts and they started buying the stock. Then buying the stock with natural buyers, people that want to be long the stock, squeeze the stock and made them go higher. That is a short squeeze. Shorting, you're playing security to go to the downside. While you're playing it to the downside, that's where you think you're going to make your money. That's short selling. I don't recommend that you trade a short squeeze. The reason being is that once the shorts stop buying and the natural buying stops, there's going to be a big reversal in the stock. This thing could be up 100 points in one day and then be down 100 points the next day. With that kind of volatility, I highly recommend that you do not trade short squeezes to the upside or to the downside. Just watch them. Become a spectator. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button. Look for more Ask the Professor videos on Fenstream TV. You can follow me on Instagram at Professor Milligan. Tune in every Wednesday on the market close for my Wall Street Wednesday, where I discuss the market, trading ideas, strategies, and things of that nature. Feel free to email me any questions that you might have. You never know. I might do a video on it. You can email me at askprofessormilligan at professormilligan.com.